Welcome to the rocket profile of the Atlas II, the last of the original style Atlas rockets. From their inception in the late 1950s, the Atlas rockets had a unique configuration, a central sustainer engine flanked by two booster engines, all feeding from the same kerosene and oxygen tanks, with the booster engines dropping off partway through the burn. The Atlas II, flying from 1991 to 2004, was the last in the line to use this configuration. It came in three variants, the 2, 2A, and 2AS. The version you see here is a 2AS, which is distinctive because of the addition of four caster IVA solid boosters. Two were ignited on the ground, and two mid-flight, each set burning for 52 seconds, providing 478.3 kN of vacuum thrust each, with an ISP of 266 seconds in vacuum. The 2 and the 2A lacked the solid rocket motors, but otherwise shared the same three core engines. Unlike all Atlas rockets before, the Atlas II replaced the traditional LRA-9 booster engines with two RS-56OBA boosters producing 1,046 kN of thrust in vacuum, each for 162 to 172 seconds, with an ISP of 299 seconds. The central LR-105 sustainer engine was replaced with an RS-56OSA, which lasted a total of 283 seconds with 386 kN of thrust and 316 seconds ISP in vacuum. The difference between the Atlas II and the Atlas IIA was in the upper centaur stage. On the regular Atlas II, this had two RL-10A 3-3A engines, each providing 73 kilonewtons of thrust for 502 seconds with a specific impulse of 444 seconds. The Atlas IIA and IIAS instead had two RL-10A4s with 91 kN of thrust for 406 seconds with 448 seconds of ISP. The Atlas II was capable of launching 6.6 .6 tons to low Earth orbit, and the Atlas IIAS could manage 3.8 tons to geostationary transfer orbit. The rocket was launched 63 times with 63 successes, a 100% success rate thanks to the decades of fraught development that came before this final version. On that note, thank you for watching this rocket profile of the Atlas II.